All right, this lesson is angle bisectors. And angle bisectors naturally take an angle and split it into two parts that are equal. Angle bisector. So if we have an angle, we'll just draw a right angle here, like so. Let's label it A, B, C. And then if we draw a ray, through that angle, starting down here at B, off into the ether here, we'll label that ray with a D here. There we go. If the degree measure for A, B, D, we'll find a point here, we'll call that point D, how's that? If the degree measure for A, B, D is equal to D, B, C, then this angle, or this line right here, this ray, is an angle bisector for ABC. It splits angle ABC in half. It bisects it. Now, if that's the case, if you have an angle bisector, then that tells us that any point on the angle bisector line, in this case on D, anytime you have a point on that line, if you were to draw a line between it and each side, meeting each side at a 90 degree angle, right here, then each of those two lines is going to be the same. Any point on the angle bisector is the same distance from each of the two other sides of the angle. Now you can use that information in reverse as well. If you, for instance, have an angle and you see that you have a line through it, but you don't know for certain if that line through it actually is an angle bisector, then you can prove that it's an angle bisector by either showing that the angle dis uh, the angle measure is the same on either side, like so, or that any point on that line is equidistant from the two sides of the angle. That's called the converse of the angle bisector theorem. Angle bisector theorem tells us that the two si two uh, distances from any point to the sides of the triangle or the angle are the same and that the degree measures are the same on either side. And then the converse of that theorem tells us if we can prove that information, then we have an angle bisector. And then finally, the last thing we're going to talk about here is the application of the angle bisector theorem to a triangle. If we have a triangle and we apply, oops, let me get my third side there. Third side's always a pain because I can't just draw vertical or horizontal lines. <laughs> If we have a triangle and we go through and draw bisectors, angle bisectors for each of the three sides of the triangle, or three uh, vertex vertices of the triangle, vertexes, vertices, like so, then those three angle bisectors will meet at a point in the middle of the triangle that we call the in center. You probably recall from the last sec uh, last lesson that when we split the midpoints of the sides and draw vertical lines, or uh, 90 degree lines there, that we get the circumcenter. Here we get the in center. The in center is the point that is the meeting point or the juxtaposition of each of the angle bisectors of a triangle. All right, let's take a look at the example questions.